So one place we went to, we won their name. My name is Maxwell Partika. I work for a company called Soldier Solutions, and it's our mission to help veterans get paired up with service dogs by selling our apparel. And our apparel is made by four veteran-owned businesses, such as Nine Line Apparel, Bottle Breacher, Epic Eyewear Sunglasses, and Notch Hats. And all the proceeds goes to a nonprofit called Training Dogs Save a Warrior. Check them, check them out at tadsod.org. They provide veterans with service dogs free of charge, so there's no financial burden, you know? And they find you right here at Bear Club Land. Absolutely. We're right here in the middle. Come check us out. Bug slide tops? Are you guys in? I said I didn't know you guys had snazzy bug slide tops. Windshield trim, vent trim, and an air horn. And that's 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 it on this one. Pretty basic. Quick job. Pretty, pretty, yeah, definitely a quick job. Get it in and out. Two more left. Maybe be done for the day. My name is Ray. And where are you from? Rhode Island. And what do you got for a bike? What kind of bike? Uh, 17 Street Glide. And what are we getting done today? We're getting uh, some lights and a nice freight train on. So you're gonna make sure they hear you coming, right? Absolutely. Right. Can't be allowed, never be allowed enough. No, that's true. Yep. First time here, we've never been here before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you been to any other rallies? Uh, we've been to Sturgis, we've been to Laconia. We're gonna go do Daytona Beach next year, you know. Yep. Every year we try to do something. Tell us about your bike. And I, uh, it was black, and I got tired of going to places and I had to find out which bike was mine. So I had a friend of mine do a custom paint on it for me. Uh, what year is it? 12. 12? Yeah. And, uh... I bought the flaring and put that on there, and I changed a few things on it myself. And where are you from? Virginia. So not necessarily for the food, it's more for the atmosphere. Uh, if you're over here in Myrtle Beach, over here by uh, Barefoot Landing, uh, there's Dick's Last Resort. I've uh, been to some of these. Uh, we're going to go in and you're going to guys going to meet our waiter. And uh, just remember, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, so if you want to have a rotten time, come to Dick's Last Resort. And enjoy yourself. Hi, I'm Where are we at? We're at Dick's Last Resort. I'm Seth. I have herpes. And this guy over here keeps asking me for drugs, okay? 
I don't have any drugs, unfortunately, but if you have any drugs, please bring them to me at Dick's. Thank you. I will share herpes with you for free as well. Thanks. You know, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video right here. Where the heck are we at? We're out in front of Speeds again. Why? Because we got... issues. Yes. You know, is this ever going to end? You know, I don't know how many of you have actually heard it or not, but when we're riding, going slow and stuff, you hear a little clicking noise going on uh, in the camera. And I actually surprised none of you have said nothing about that yet. But uh, at this point, I'm kind of getting concerned about it. It seems to be getting a little louder. Uh, we can't afford to have the bike go down in Laconia or Sturgis or anything like that. So speeds, uh, we're going to leave it here tonight. Speeds is going to take it tomorrow and see if they can figure out where the noise is coming from without completely tearing apart the motor. We've got that good old 110 motor that's had a lot of issues on them. And uh, we'll see what happens on that. So uh, we're going to leave you right here at Speeds Performance Plus. Checking out our bike and we'll let you know as soon as we can what the heck is going on with it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Think about Patreon. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. And it's getting really really busy now a lot of bikes are coming in we see a lot of rvs coming in traffic is getting crazy large amount of ambulances going by probably so four or five safe. a day be careful look twice yeah make sure you know you know i see these guys cutting through traffic and cutting in front of cars things like that you got to remember there is a lot of elderly people here and also there's a lot of people that aren't paying attention and when you go zigzagging through the traffic like that they may not see you and you know that that car runs you over uh, I think your bike's going to lose and you're going to lose. So yeah. take real good care. Be safe out here. And uh, don't let the cops, you know, give them an excuse to come after you. You know, I still see guys coming down here, revving their bikes up, squealing their tires, pulling wheelies. You know, dude, you really need to do that here at a rally. You know, it's, uh, I always talk about that. It's always funny when, uh, you know, when guys are doing that, they're like, yeah, look at me, look at me. And you don't realize that almost everybody that's seeing you do that are all saying the same thing. What an ass clown. You know, and they're saying other things, a lot more than what that is, but that's probably about as much as I can say on uh, YouTube. But I mean, there, there's nobody saying, yeah, dude, you're doing great. Everybody's saying the same thing. How stupid is that guy? Or what's he compensating for? So don't think you're cool. Yeah. So see you tomorrow. Bye.